a really interesting species to study and a really, um, a really good environmental indicator because sturgeon have been around for millions of years, they're one of the oldest freshwater species that we have. And to think that they've survived through ice ages, through multiple different climate shifts, climate changes, and that now that the dams and habitat alterations are causing their decline um, really lends some insight into what kind of um, ecosystem alterations that we're, that we're bringing about or ecosystem change we're bringing about. And so in studying them, if we can figure out ways that might um, help recover certain populations, we might bring back ecosystem recovery in general. I think they're just a group that has not been studied very much in the past. There's been so much attention to other groups like salmon. And there are some fairly simple things that can be done in terms of sizing the passage facilities, in terms of um, looking at lock structures, for example, and filling how the locks are filled, making sure everything's flush to the bottom so that they don't hit an obstacle or a lip that they have to go over. Just thinking like a sturgeon, you know. How do they think? They're not visual. They, they use their sense of smell, they use their sense of their tactile sense with their barbells. And so if you want to design something that will work for them, you just need to think like a sturgeon.